What's up, friends? We have two gradients here. They're both starting in a very light green, and they're both ending in a very dark green. But how they get from point A to point B is very different. This one is really bright and saturated. This one is really dull. The way that you go from one color to another color happens through a color space. This top one is what we're most familiar with. This is the sRGB space. And if we look at this gradient inside of Figma, we have a start and a stop. So Figma's default is in that sRGB space. But if we look at this one, we're actually having a whole bunch of stops along the way. In CSS, we could just write this gradient code right here. We say 90 degrees in HSL instead of sRGB. We go from this hex to this hex in HSL space, and it translates to this. How did we get all of these stops from that value? That's where this plugin that I've created comes into play. The plugin is called CSS Color Mix. It actually uses the baked in browser API to render the right colors and sends them to Figma to generate gradients in RGB space of the actual color values in a different space. Maybe we go to like, let's go to a dark purple from a light green. So we can create this gradient fill and it updates this. We could make this 100 if we wanted and we'll get all 100 stops over here in Figma. The less stops you do, the less resolution you have. But if we bump that back up to 20, this is a little bit closer to what that gradient actually is when computed in CSS. We can do a lot more than gradients. We can go to a color fill. If we want to select a specific color along this route, this is now gone from linear gradient to color mix. And color mix is a function in CSS that represents a color's value, but instead of being an explicit hex code, it's represented by a mixing function of start to finish. F8, F, F, F5 is this light green. 5A005C is this dark purple. But the reason this fill is neither of those things is because it's 81% mix in the HSL space. This color function is the value of this kind of burgundy sort of color. But you can generate swatches without changing your start and your end. Your swatch values in CSS go 0%, 10%, 20%. This is a completely different way of thinking about a color palette. Your values are basically what's your start color, what's your end color, and then every swatch is a percentage value. If we want these swatches, we can select the swatch output type inside of the color mix plugin. So let's just do five and we can do any space and we can see that as we change the space, the values of these colors change drastically. This is valid CSS for a color value. So we can use this CSS to represent these colors. If we wanted to just create some swatches, we can. Their values are ultimately going to be hex codes, but their name is their color mix. We can also generate variables. I'm gonna create these five variables in that variable collection. So we see we created five variables. Let's go in and look at our collection here. And here are those five variables that we just created, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000. So we group it by the two hex codes and we group it by the color space. Uh, and then we get all the variables that we were looking for. The HSL space is really good for color ramps. So here we have from a, that light lime green to that dark green in the HSL space, and we have 10 tokens. One cool thing about variables in Figma is you can add descriptions. You can also add code syntax, which replaces what shows up in the CSS. And so in this case, I've replaced the CSS with the color mix function. So the plugin creates these variables with this being the syntax for the variable, which means when we inspect this node in dev mode, the CSS inside of Figma is going to be expressed as a color mix function. The progress that we've made when thinking about color on the web is just phenomenal. Um, and my hope is that a plugin like color mix uh, is going to allow folks to start using some of these principles inside of Figma and can help show us why it's really important to think of colors dynamically in this way. Uh, CSS Color Mix is available on the Figma community. Uh, it looks something like this. You can come here and you can open this up and use this plugin as needed. I literally just published this. So go check it out, use it. Hope it helps you build your color systems. But more importantly, I hope it challenges the way you're thinking about color uh, when you're building out UIs that are meant for the web.